you to, um, it's like five and a half weeks or something like that. Uh, I know I'm doing my video really early, but I just, I'm telling you everything I forgot in the last video. So, what I forgot is, one of the things I forgot is books. I got a lot of books in the past week. Well, really, I just got to read it still. Um, I have this one. This one is for men. It's called She's Having a Baby, and I'm Having a Breakdown. It's pretty much what every man needs to know. Uh, Riley likes it, but he's got it in the Um, then I got this one. Your pregnancy week by week. It's kind of helpful, but I wish it had more in it. But the really good thing about it is it, it, it shows you what the baby looks like every week. You see, how big they're supposed to be. So they're here. How big is your baby? Um, how big am I? And then how your baby's growing and developing, all that good stuff. And then I got what every pregnant woman needs to read. What to expect when you're expecting. This book is very, uh, very, very helpful. It's, I mean, the other ones are kind of like, mm, but this one, like, has all the weird questions that I've been asking people and nobody's been able to answer me. I still have to Google though, because some stuff in here doesn't say. should really probably just call my doctor. Um, speaking of Googling, um, I Google prenatal vitamins because I have a really, really, really hard time swallowing pills, like I choke really easy. But, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in the bathroom. That's my husband, because the light in our room is broke. Um, but yeah, I googled prenatal vitamins because I can't follow the ones that I have. So I found chewable prenatal vitamins. And I didn't know how to get them, and I thought I was going to have to pay an arm and leg form. So I called my doctor and I was like, do you guys carry, you know, chewable? They're called pre-care. And uh, I, they have, the doctor hasn't even seen me yet, but she prescribed them to me. They're these right here. And there, I'm just going to open it. Big, and I chew them up, and they're lemony, they taste like poop, but I'd rather eat something that tastes like crap than choke to death on a green oil butter. So yeah, it's already doing it. Um, and I have a question. Do you guys have a belly button pain? I know it's really weird, but it's like a pain in your belly button, like somebody's pulling at it or stabbing you in your belly button, it kind of radiates down or it radiates to the sides. That happened to me, I mean, that's happened to me a couple of times, but nothing really bad. And the other day it was pretty bad, like it hurt. And I thought I was going crazy and I started crying because, you know, I'm going to lose baby, blah, 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 blah. And it went away and, you know, I'm okay now, nothing's wrong, I'm not spotting anything, but still scared me. So I was wondering if you guys have experienced any, like, navel pain. And then another question I have is, do you guys have like fading or fluctuating symptoms? Like one day you'll have pregnancy symptoms and the next day you're just kind of like, okay, where are they? I should have been morning sickness by now or I had a, should have a headache or at least something. The only thing that really sticks with me is a little bit of cramping, but as far as other symptoms, they fade in, they fade out, some days are here, some days are not. Some days are worse, some days are better, and I'm just wondering if like fading symptoms is normal. Um, what else? Oh, and if you any of you are wondering why I haven't done a belly shot yet, it's because I'm not showing, and I'd pretty much be just showing you my fat stomach. So I'm gonna wait till I'm actually showing to show you my belly, because I really just don't want to show you my fat stomach. Um, but yeah. If you guys have any questions or you want to answer mine, that'd be great. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys Sunday. Bye.